There's also an alternative to Toolbox. Uh, I think it's more popular. It's called Distrobox. And like, I think Intel, like um, the name of their distribution, uh, Clear Linux, I think they started using Distrobox. Mm -hmm. And it's a really popular um, program now. It, it's heavily inspired by Toolbox, but it's, it's more powerful. Like mm -hmm. you can create uh, desktop entries within containers so you don't have to install like the application on your host mm -hmm. just install them on your container and ha launch them normally like you would like any application or flat pack whatever um it also runs like it works with both toolbox uh, sorry uh, podman and docker yeah where the toolbox only runs on podman i keep hearing about like i don't know what happened i don't know if like some outlet picked it up and then everybody started talking about it. But I've been hearing so much about Distrobox recently. I really need to cover this at some point. Yeah, it's a really, really cool utility. Um, if I remember right, it's written entirely in a POSIX shell. If I remember right. Yeah, it's really impressive. <laughs> yeah, it is. I'm looking at the GitHub right now. 100% shell. What the hell? Yeah, it's seriously good. Um, I believe Toolbox is written in Go. I might be wrong, mm. but yeah, like I don't think it's a bad thing. But whatever it is, like the show box is in POSIX shell, and and like it's really, really fast in development. And plus, like you can, I think there's like a, an installation script, so you don't even need it packaged on your system. You just have to install it using like some uh, a command. Uh, yeah, there's a yeah, there's an install script you can just download from the. They rec oh I don't uh, please stop recommending this. Uh they, they've got a like a curl installation method. I just I don't like I don't like devs who include a curl installation method. Um this is all a flat pack, which is experimental apparently. Yeah. One of my friends uh worked on that and then like the maintainer um like of Distrobox, they liked they liked it and you know the the uh the flat pack as well, mm -hmm. and he's, I, I don't know if he's gonna include it in Flat Hub, but probably yeah. Well, and it would be cool if it does. I've I've considered like the main reason I want to try this out is because I don't always want to fire up a VM just to try out something on whatever distro like Ubuntu or Fedora or anything like that. If it can be achieved in a, a system like this, then it's probably. I, it's gonna be easier to do it like this for sure. Yeah, uh, like obviously it doesn't use right. It doesn't use as much resources as mm -hmm. um, VMs. It's a lot easier to set up as well, and it uses a lot less space. And like, there's just a lot of benefits of using a uh, distro box. Mm -hmm. Even like if your distribution is mutable, there's still a lot of benefits, especially like the container part, where like you can kill, like you can destroy your container it won't affect your system because well like, it's a container you can just remove it afterwards and create a new one well even just simple things like let's say you're on ubuntu and there's some there's something on arch you like something on the aui you want to be using like just that alone seems like a good enough selling point mm -hmm. exactly or like maybe like the application you're running like from the AUR isn't working well, but it's officially supported at, on Ubuntu, yeah, so you can yeah. get the Ubuntu container as well. That's also that. And like even better, like as I said before, you can also create desktop entries with mm. Distrobox. Like there's literally a command for that, and it will just ge generate a uh, desktop entry, and you can just like launch it from your application menu. I don't. <laughs> I don't, and that's cool. I don't use an application menu. Like I, my, um, <laughs> the way I run an application is I have my D menu. It lists out every binary on my system and I just type in the name, which is great for me. But, you know, I, I get it if you're using like a desktop environment, for example. You want it to be in that application list and all that fun stuff. But I, I think yeah. that's cool. I think it's cool it's there. Mm -hmm. Also, about the curl thing, like, mm. is there an alternative? Um, well, you can always just download the script and then run the script like that. Okay, that makes sense. Like, the, the method they inc they have there is just, um, you know, the the curl into sudo sh. 
Yeah, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty insecure. Yeah. Like, I, I get it. It's just a simple way to do it. I, I just personally would prefer to download the script and then do the pseudo sh afterwards. That's just that's the way that I like to do it. I, I get that people don't really think it's that big of a deal, and maybe you shouldn't just be downloading scripts if you think it's going to be insecure. Anyways, there's a lot of reasons why you might not consider you know this that big of a deal, but it just it it rubs me the wrong way, like, especially considering like you know coming from using windows and knowing how simple it is to just download random toolbars for example like <laughs> i don't i don't want to be in a situation where i'm encouraging that sort of you know reckless way of installing software yeah i completely agree i think like using sudo is not the best approach mm -hmm. but there's always a system package there if you want to use those as well there's a lot of ways to install this yeah and since it's just a bash script, it's like really like really easy to package just, and you just download the repo if you wanted to.